began by distributing epilepsy alarms because um, that was something that we had purchased ourselves for Muir that singularly uh, at that point in time made the biggest difference to our lives. Um, Muir was five years old when we purchased our first epilepsy alarm and until then he literally slept between us in our bed every night. That was the only way we could keep a vigil over him and uh, manage his nighttime seizures which can be potentially life-threatening. The alarm was transformational. Um, it gave Muir some independence, it allowed him to sleep in his own bed um, and it brought for us a very significant amount of peace of mind and the return of long lost sleep. Um, so when we set up the trust we, we uh, promised that we would distribute epilepsy alarms to families who were living um, the same sort of life as us, struggling to sleep because of the fear of their child having a seizure during the night. And we have now distributed something in the region of 3,000 epilepsy alarms to families all over the UK. We don't means test, we don't intend to means test because we don't want any child to miss out on the benefit of an epilepsy alarm um, alerting parents to their seizure during the night. The demand currently, however, <laughs> exceeds what we can meet. So we have a wait list and it's permanent and we just chip away at it week by week by week, doing our very best to raise funds to deliver alarms to the family home. For us, an alarm costs 500 pounds. And we do our very best to raise as many 500 pounds as possible. Um, I think it perhaps sounds like a lot of money but you know how much of a price would you put on a child's life? So what I would say to our supporters is every pound counts, you know, and 50 pounds towards a 500 pound alarm, 10 pounds towards a 500 pound alarm, it really matters. There's no doubt that the added value in terms of quality of life from that 500 pound spend, as well as the potential life-saving aspect, is money very well spent.